The children know exactly what it represents. It's the desert. It's the desert. Normally it's the Holy Land, the place where Jesus lived and taught and uh, spent his life. But it's not that desert today. Today it's a desert in somewhere in Arizona. And uh, from a time not too long ago. And it's a story about a young girl named Mountain Girl. And uh, this is her story about learning a really valuable lesson about what true wealth looks like. And so Mountain Girl lived in the desert in a, in a very simple home with the father and her mother and her little brother. And when we meet them, they have gathered around their table, their kitchen table. And Mountain Girl has called a family meeting. And she starts by saying, if you could see us sitting it here at our old, scratched up, homemade table, you'd know that we aren't rich. But her, my father is trying to tell, uh, tell me that we are very rich. He doesn't notice my worn out shoes or the, my brother's patches on his pants. But you can't fool me, says Mountain Girl, we're poor. Would rich people sit at a table like this? And mother pats the table and says, we're rich and we sit here every day. And Mountain Girl says, you know, sometimes I think I'm the only one in my family that is sensible. We have a table made out of lumber someone else was throwing away. And Mountain Girl says, it doesn't look like a table where rich people would sit. And Mother said, you know, Mountain Girl, if all the rulers of the world could get together at a table in a kitchen, they would solve all their arguments in half the time. But Mountain Girl says, well, maybe, but tonight it's our kitchen table and our argument and our family meeting. I call the meeting and the subject is money. We don't have enough of it. And Mountain Girl tells her parents that they should both get better jobs so that they could buy a lot of nice new things. In fact, she says, it would help if you both had a little more ambition. <laughs> Mountain Girl says, my parents have some strange ideas about working. They think the only jobs worth having are jobs outdoors. They don't mind planting fields or building fences or training wild horses. But they can't stand to be cooped up indoors. And Dad says, how many people are as lucky as we are? But Bound Girl says, I bet you could make way more money working in a building in town. And Father says, remember our number one rule. We have to be able to see the sky. Mountain Girl says, well, you could look through a window. But they won't even think about it. And Mother says, all right, Mountain Girl, we're going to explain how we figure our money. You be the bookkeeper tonight. And Father says, don't you know how rich we are? Mountain Girl says, we can't get very far in this discussion if you can't even admit that we're poor. <laughs> Father says, I'll prove it to you. Let's make a list of the money we earn in a year. And so Mountain Girl grabs her clipboard and she says, how much is that? I'll write it down. And Father says, not so fast. We have a lot of things to think about before we add them up. Mountain Girl says, well, what kind of things? And, and Mother says, well, we don't just take our pay in cash. We have a special plan so we get paid in sunsets, too. 
and in having time to hike around the canyons and look for eagle's nests. Mountain Girl says, can't you give me one single number to write down? And Father says, okay, write down $20,000. And so very excitedly, she writes down $20,000. And he says, that's what it's worth for me to work outdoors, where I can see the sky and feel the wind and smell the rain. And it's worth that much to be where I can sing out loud and no one will mind. Ken would appreciate that one. <laughs> and then mother says, no, you better make that 30,000. And so she strokes out the 20 and writes 30,000. And, uh, and her mother says, that because it's worth at least, it's worth at least another 10,000 to hear coyotes sing. And so, then mother remembers that they like to see faraway mountains that change color about 20 times a day. That's worth another 5,000. And so, Mountain Girl strokes out 30 and writes 35,000. And then Father says, when a cactus blooms, you have to be there to watch it, because it might be a color you won't ever see again. Any other day of your life, what is that color worth? And little brother says, 50 cents. <laughs> But they all decide on another 5,000, so Mountain Girl writes 40,000. And then Mountain Girl suddenly realized how much her father likes to make bird sounds. He can make, and he can copy any bird, but he's best at hawks and quail and eagles and owls. and ravens. Mountain Girl crosses out the 40,000 and writes 50,000 because all those sounds have to be worth at least $10,000. And then Mother says, well let's see what Mountain Girl is worth to us. And Mountain Girl suggests that she's worth 10,000. But Father says, don't underestimate yourself. Remember all those good lists, the best books, books to read again, animals we've seen, ones we still most want to see. They decide she's worth a million dollars. And so she strokes out the 50,000 and writes one million and $50,000. Uh, in fact, it turns out, as they talk about it, that every one of them is worth a million dollars. So, they now have four million and fifty thousand dollars. And fifty cents. <laughs> and then Mountain Girl adds, I think we need 5,000 for the pleasure of wandering in open country. Alone, free as a lizard, not following trails, not having a plan. So that makes four million and fifty-five thousand dollars. And then um, her bro little brother says to put down seven dollars for the nights that we sleep out under the stars. We talk him into making it another five thousand. And so now the paper says four million and sixty thousand dollars. And fifty cents. <laughs> 
and 50 cents. <laughs> and Madam Girl says, and we haven't even started counting the actual cash. But all of a sudden, the cash doesn't seem to make much difference anymore. Mountain Girl suggests it shouldn't be even be on the same list as the riches that we have. So she declares the meeting over. <laughs> and Mountain Girl pats the table and says, I'm so glad it's out. I wonder in our life what we would put a one million dollar value on. Let's sing. Thank you.